Hi, salutations everybody and thank you for watching Diabetic Radio. Uh, this is episode 62. Uh, today is a very important episode. I want to talk to you about an experience I had uh, a couple of weeks ago when I went to see my doctor. And I also kind of want to link this to the last couple of YouTube videos I posted um, uh, with diabetes you know, in, in Africa and in Asia because uh, I think this is uh, important. Uh, this experience illustrates the importance of us as diabetics going out of our way to learn as much as we can about diabetes outside of our doctor visits. So uh, what had happened was uh, a couple of weeks ago I went to see my endocrinologist just to get a routine you know, check out my blood work and to get my A1C results and yada, yada, yada. So, um, my A1Cs was um, slightly higher since I moved over to the uh, pump. I'm, I'm still in the range, um, but they were a little better when I was on shots. So, um, my doctor for the longest, he told me from before, but I, you know, I couldn't. Uh, do it, which was he wanted me to raise my basal rates um, to one unit an hour. If you're not sure what basal rates is, you know you can look it up. It's B A S A L. Um, I'll talk more about it in you know uh, a future video. So um, he wanted me to raise it to um, one unit an hour, which it's too much for me, and he really insist that I raise it that high. And I respond to insulin very well. Um, and I've always told my doctor that I'm not insulin resistant, you know, and is there's that perception, you know, when you see a big guy, you think, oh, you know, big insulin resistance, you know, and I'm not, you know, um, and What's interesting about this, and I totally forgot to tell him, is that just before getting the pump, I had a pump trainer um, uh, give me a rundown on some things. And um, I told her this is what my doctor wanted. And, um, and she said that um, the dose that he wanted me to give myself was too high, you know? Um, and I thought, wow, this is very interesting. There, here are two um, very experienced healthcare professionals. I have my endocrinologist who specializes in diabetes, and I have this nurse who's also a pump trainer, who's also a CDE, who's been working uh, with animus for I forgot how many years she said for many years and Here are these two people with two very different opinions on how to take care how I should take care of my diabetes you know um, Fortunately, you know unlike um, Anything else one would ingest for taking care of the diabetes insulin is um, as as 
is an as needed hormone so you can adjust your insulin on the fly you know so um, I can really play with it um, so um, long story short I didn't I, I didn't give myself the uh, dose that the doctor my doctor recommended because it's just too high I would be having too many lows you know um, and I, th I think the um, uh, the gist of this experience is that um, healthcare professionals, and this is someone that's that's from the patient side. Healthcare professionals have got to realize that diabetes is a very individual thing. Not everybody's going to respond to insulin in the same way. Not everybody's going to respond to medication in the same way. Even the same foods is not going to. Um, affect every diabetic in the same way you know and um, I think that too many professionals and, and, and this is the complaint of many diabetics too many uh, professionals see us as a textbook and not as a uh, as a person that has you know um, different needs and 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 um, and sometimes not sensitive to different, you know, cultures, you know, um, which can also, believe it or not, uh, make a difference on how you take care of your diabetes. You know, certain cultures that, you know, where um, it's common to eat certain foods and, and sometimes certain foods are tied into, you know, religious beliefs, you know, such as, um, you know, if, if, if you're Jewish, if you're Hasidic Jews, you, you know, a lot of time they eat certain um, foods that correspond to their, um, their spiritual path. Um, so, um, again, um, it's so very important for you to learn um, about diabetes outside of what your doctor tells you because it's diabetes isn't so um, black and white you know and in reference to um, the YouTube videos I posted um, I I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the second video uh, from uh, um, Patel. Um, that was very powerful watching that video for me because, you know, um, in terms of the guy who sold his land, you know, because he really believed that his daughter would be cured. That, that struck a chord with me. You know, I come from a very um, uh, wide family background. I have many, um, I come from a very mixed family. You know, I have um, people in my family f that are from San Juan, from uh, Trinidad, from Tobago, from St. Croix, St. Thomas. I have family from all over. So. You know, um, when I say this, it's because, you know, I know I see it in my own family. When it comes to people that are that, that are of the old school, okay, that are from old school, there's a, a, a lot of my elders that would see an Obia man 20 times before they would actually go to a doctor. Same thing with the Spanish side of my family. You know, you're feeling sick or whatever. Oh, somebody must be doing witchcraft. And the next thing you know, they're in a botanica buying, you know, however how many candles to get rid of the bruja. You know? Um, when does it become apparent to someone that when you're feeling ill, that it's not always of, you know, a spiritual nature. Sometimes, you know, um, you're ill because, you know, of something else, because there's something really going on with your body. And I think this is such a dangerous thing because 
if you come from a family where you're um, uh, genetically prone to things like cancer and things like that it's a it's a very dangerous um, school of thought um, because you could be you know living with a disease or cancer festering in your body for many many years but because we're scared of the doctor maybe we don't believe in a doctor maybe you just have a serious phobia of needles um i mean who likes needles i don't like needles even though you know i mean i i'm always pricking myself testing my blood you know i don't like doing that who likes that you know but it is what it is i have to do what i have to do to take care of my diabetes and even when some people who know they already know they have diabetes they still won't go and get their checkup you know because you know whatever you know they're scared of the needle or they don't believe the diabetes is that bad or they'll just think of any excuse you know not to go to the doctor you know um and you have to realize diabetes is is is, is serious you know we need to do better in learning more about it you know instead of trying to take our assumptions about diabetes and try to convert them as truth you know we are living in an age where we have every possible information at our disposal simply from a click of a mouse we are not living 100, 200, 300 years ago where there was no computer technology and we basically had to accept someone's knowledge on blind faith. It's unacceptable to do that in this day and age. To sit there and say, well, he sounds like he knows what he's talking about. Even myself, you know, I mean, I don't the purpose of me creating this blog really isn't to try to make people believe what I think. It's about me giving you the tools to research and connect the dots so you can find out for yourself so that you're not just sitting around, you know, like a hanging around like a sitting duck, just, you know, waiting for some complication to happen. You know, while it's important to realize that diabetes is different for everyone, it also doesn't mean it's an excuse not to go out of your way to learn more about diabetes because it's the only way, again, and I've said this time and time again, it is the only way without being a doctor to have some kind of way of protecting yourself, of making sure that you are getting the best care from your doctor. You know, read as much as you can, ask him questions. That's what he's there for. And if your doctor cannot give you a solid answer from his, you know, based on his opinion and his medical experience, solid answer as to why he thinks you should take a certain medication or have your dose, this dose, opposed to another dose then you know maybe you should start looking for another doctor because you only have one life to live and you deserve the right to have every little single thing explained to you and you owe it to yourself to ask as many questions as you possibly can from that doctor because you know you will get many different opinions on things and that's why you should never ever 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 take what you first hear f at face value you have to research you know you have to do your research preferably in books more so the um internet you know and the only reason why i say this is because there's a lot while there's a lot of information um on the internet um, to be found I've also discovered there's a lot of old information too so you should do both ask your doctor questions ask your nurse questions ask your CDE questions um, um, 
be involved in in uh, websites and message boards whatever you can get your hands on so that you can so that you can weigh things out you you would be able by doing this you would be able to discern what is real information and what is bullshit you have to how would you know whether something is real or not if your eyeballs has never glanced the first text on diabetes you know it is unacceptable for us as diabetics to be so gullible about everything we have to read we have to 350 million people around the world having diabetes I mean it's unacceptable that there's such a, uh, a, a uh, an imbalance of knowledge you know diabetes is a progressive disease okay if you don't take care of it it will get worse okay now granted some people with high a1c's some people don't get complications some people do but research has shown that if for the majority of diabetics if you don't control your blood sugar you'll get a nasty complication now just because you heard that not everybody's going to get a complication does it mean that it's okay not to go out of your way to really take care of your diabetes i don't think so the risks are just too high for me not to so um long story short um i did you know change my dose uh slightly higher um but not the full dose and let's see what happens uh on my next day when see you know so doctors professionals i'm asking you if any one of you are in the medical field and you're watching this video don't see us as a textbook you know and don't judge us by our looks either because i remember one time before this a1c um i was getting my blood test done and you know the nurse there was making chit chat and she was like so what's your you know oh no at first she was asking me what kinds of foods that i eat and this and this and that and then she asked me what was my last a1c and i said i think it was 6.4 and then she was like hmm oh hmm she gave this face like um like well because my a1c's was so good there's nothing more she can really say like she like she already had a list ready based on the fact that you know i'm a heavy guy and you know i must be heavy because i'm not taking care of myself they know absolutely know that i have an a1c that is so sky high and that's why i'm fat you know yada 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 you know why is it that with diabetes that people of the medical community always seem to overlook genetics they know that there's a genetic factor they know that being overweight is genetic there's a genetic factor they know that having diabetes is a genetic factor and yet they choose to make everything about food you know they looked at me and she just knew that my a1c was through the roof you know you can't look at someone and decide whether you think someone is taking care of your, themselves or not everybody's diabetic situation is different you know and i hope that if you are a medical professional that um you're taking away something from watching this video you know remember that we are human and it's important for you to remember that you're human and you should treat us as such and not a textbook we are just as complex and unique as anything else so um thank you for uh, watching love you guys um and i look forward to doing my next video bye bye